Creating a manually scheduled task is easy. Set the task mode to manually scheduled, name the task, and fill in the information you have. The task bars change based on which values you enter. We're going to create a couple of manually scheduled tasks. Before we do that, look down at the status bar in the project window, and it says new tasks are manually scheduled. That's what I want for now. So I'm going to go up into the table and click the first blank task name cell. I'm going to type the name of the new task, which is Pack Office. And then I'm going to press Tab. Notice the task mode indicator is a push pin with a question mark. The push pin means it's manually scheduled, and the question mark tells you that you haven't added any information. Well, let's start with the start date. You know that it has to start on January 9th, 2020. I type that value into the start date cell, and then I'm going to press tab. When I do that, I just have the start date, nothing else. And when I look in the time scale on the right, all I see is the opening teal bracket for the start date. Well, let's say that you don't know what the duration is, and that's because Sarah is estimating it. Well, you can still create your task and put a note in to tell you that Sarah is estimating it so that when you go to get your estimate, you know to call Sarah. So I'm going to type that note in. I type in the note, and I can press Tab or Enter, and now you see the note that Sarah is estimating the duration. Nothing changes over in the time scale because the only data I still have is the start date. Well, let's say a few days have passed and Sarah gets back to you and says, it's going to take two weeks. So now we can go to the duration cell, click it, and I'm going to type 2W for two weeks and press tab. With a start date and a duration, project can calculate the finish date. Over in the time scale, you can see that we have a teal taskbar that's two weeks long, and it starts on January 9th, and you have dark end caps to show that you have a start and finish date defined. Finally, when you look over at the task mode icon, it's a push pin. The question mark is gone because you've filled in the duration, start, and finish. Now let's create a second task. I'm going to click the next blank task name cell and name the task. Send announcements. This time, I'm going to tab into the duration cell. And I know this is a three-day task, so I type 3D and then tab into the start cell. I don't know when it's going to start or finish. I have my task mode icon of the push pin with a question mark. And over in the time scale, I do have a three-day task bar, but the ends are faded or blurred to show that you haven't set the dates yet. That's how you create manually scheduled tasks and add information to them.